All right, I want to move now to the Northern Territory. Beleaguered Police Chief Jamie Chalker has been asked to resign as the NT Police Chief by the government, bringing an end to a tenure that's been plagued by controversy. Now, Chalker took the top job back in 2019, two days after Constable Zachary Rolfe fatally shot Kumanjai Walker during a botched arrest attempt. Rolfe was charged with Walker's murder, you'll remember that, in November that year, but found not guilty by a jury early last year. Chalker's decision to charge Constable Rolfe quickly angered many in the NT police force. 80% of officers in a recent survey rating pol pol police morale as low or very low. And, of course, Chalker has been also leading the police to a pretty tumultuous period of rising crime and violence, not just, of course, in Alice, but across the Territory. And he's seen by many to have lost control of the situation. Joining me now, Matt Cunningham, Sky's Northern Australia correspondent. Matt, as I said, tumultuous tenure for Jamie Chalker. What's been the reaction to the news he's been asked to resign? Will he resign? And how much responsibility is he being asked to take here for politicians over this spike in violence? Well, they're all very good questions, uh, Peter. And it's more than two days now since we first reported that the government had asked Jamie Chalker to resign, telling him that they'd lost confidence in him. Uh, and yet we're still in this stalemate position. The Chief Minister, Natasha Files, gave uh, a fairly extraordinary news conference today where she was asked by journalists several times whether, A, she had asked Jamie Chalker to resign and whether, B, she still had confidence in Jamie Chalker uh, and we couldn't get a straight answer. All she would say was that Jamie Chalker was on leave, that his deputy, Michael Murphy, uh, has now been put into the acting position, but no word from the Chief Minister as to whether she still had confidence in Jamie Chalker. Of course, we know that... That means that she and her government no longer have confidence in Jamie Chalker. Otherwise, she would have come out and said so. Uh, but there is this ridiculous situation that's going on now. It would appear that Jamie Chalker, even though the government has asked him to resign, uh, it appears that uh, he doesn't appear too keen to actually do so. So a, a really difficult situation, an embarrassing situation, you'd have to say, for the government now. It, it's locked in mm. basically a war with its own police commissioner while we're seeing people attack with action on the streets of Darwin and kids stealing cars in Alice Springs and driving them around dangerously uh, in the middle of the night. It's just a, a, a catastrophe all round, you'd have to say. I want to come back and ask you about um, Zach Rolfe because I know you've got an update, but this tomahawk thing you just mentioned there, this uh, violent fight in, in pretty much the middle of the day, a brawl between two men, a, a suburban street turned into a bit of a war zone. Well, what's happened here? So my understanding, I was out there this morning, is that these are groups, uh, different clan groups from the community of Wat Air. Uh, I actually spoke to one of the people today who was involved in the incident in that street, uh, a man who says that he had an axe held to his throat uh, during that incident. Now, there has been clan violence that's been going on in Wat Air and the nearby community of Pepmanati uh, for more than uh, 12 months, probably for the past 18 months. We've had politicians, including Labor's Melandiri McCarthy, describe the situation there as a humanitarian crisis. People have been displaced from that community uh, because of the fighting that's been going on. There's been more than 100 houses at Wat Air that have either been damaged or destroyed. And we have seen uh, in the past few months a lot of people from that community coming in to Darwin. Now, I think what you saw on the streets uh, of the Darwin suburb of Moyle on Friday afternoon was that mm. violence uh, spilling onto the streets of, of Darwin. The, the man I spoke to, he said he was from Wadair. He said the man who attacked him was from Wadair as well. And then, of course, you have the poor woman uh, who lives in, in the unit nearby who's filmed this on her mobile phone and post, posted it on social media, uh, who's absolutely traumatised by the events that are going on uh, right literally underneath her balcony. And she has also said said um, that she's been subjected to retribution after she posted that footage on social media. So, you know, that's a fairly extraordinary uh, situation there. Uh, and also another example of the escalating issues uh, of violent crime we're seeing on the streets, not just of Darwin, but elsewhere in the Northern Territory as well. And I might remind my viewers, of course, this standoff between the Chief Minister and the Chief of Police is the, the worst possible time for something like this. Uh, just quickly, um, Zach Rolfe, what can you tell us? So, my understanding is that Zachary Rolfe's lawyers uh, were sent a letter 
uh, last week, basically uh, indicating that the Northern Territory Police uh, intends to terminate his position. Now, it doesn't relate to the shooting of Kumanjai Walker that, that you mentioned at the top of the show. We know he was charged uh, with murder over that incident two days after Jamie Chalker uh, started in the role of police commissioner, but we know that he was found not guilty uh, on all three charges he faced in relation to that incident early last year. This re relates to a 2,500-word open letter attributed to Constable Rolf that was posted on Facebook in February, uh, picked up by a lot of media uh, outlets subsequently uh, where he basically complained about the way he'd been treated uh, by the top brass of the Northern Territory Police Force and the judicial system here in the Northern Territory uh, and also uh, justified some of those text messages that have uh, come out during the coronial inquest. So my understanding mm -hmm. is that his lawyers have been asked um, to show why he shouldn't be dismissed. Uh, otherwise, uh, Zachary Rolfe will be terminated from the Northern Territory Police Force. We'll stay across that. I know you will. Matt Cunningham, thank you.